Pennsylvania cooking. Today is a quick, easy, no-bake recipe. I'm doing peanut butter rice crispy treats. Um, I'm not using name brands. I'm actually using all these brands with the Millville Rice Krispies and some generic marshmallows and uh, yeah, generic Aldi's peanut butter. Um, and I mentioned that I'm using these and not name brands because you might have to alter the recipe a little bit depending on the brands that you use. I have discovered that um, the different brands require different amounts. So, like, like the Millville cereals have more bulk or fiber to them, so I had to up some of my amounts a little bit to make it the right consistency. Um, you might not find that if you're using some of the other name brands. But they're really simple. There's only a few ingredients. Before I get started on this though, I want to share one other thing. Um, several times here for my videos, I've shared about Lori Fogg and her cooking blog called Cold Cracker in the Kitchen. Um, she's a fabulous cook. She uh, lived about 45 minutes or an hour south of me, grew up down by Tower City, PA, and uh, really, really had a lot of, has a lot of good recipes and cooking knowledge that she has shared on her blog, A Cold Cracker in the Kitchen. I'm sharing about Lori today because um, Lori's a bit older than me. She's disabled, she's an amputee, and she also suffers from rheumatoid arthritis, which makes her really quite disabled. In spite of that, she did, she has done the blog for about four or five years um, and has uh, put out a cookbook and, and really has been always very helpful. And we, we, we share a lot of common things. Some things are different, but we also share a lot. And I've used some of her recipes and, and sent you over there before. Um, a few days ago, Lori's husband unexpectedly passed away. Um, besides losing the love of her life, he was also her caregiver, and her future is extremely precarious. She's older than me, but she's not old enough to receive full benefits uh, for someone disabled, and he was the, he was the income. So her future, as far as housing and everything right now, is up in the air not to mention dealing with the loss of her husband whom she loved very much and was her best friend. Uh, in the links below the, my video in the description along with the recipe for today I'm going to share um, a link to her blog and a link to the podcast where she was interviewed uh, here locally several years ago. That's actually how I discovered Lori in the first place. It's about half hour long, fascinating, funny, really cool stories that she shares. She's a great storyteller, and that's one of the cool things about her blog. You like the history that I share about recipes. She really goes in depth about some of them. Um, more so, I can to certain things, and she does to certain other things. So, um, but I'm also going to share a link to her GoFundMe. Um, you know, times are tough. This is a really rough time to be going through a loss like this, especially for someone who's older and disabled. So uh, if you've enjoyed what she's shared with others and what I've shared here from her, um, go check her out. And uh, you know, if you can help a little bit, that would be much appreciated. Okay, back to the recipe. It's pretty simple, guys. Okay, this is it. 12 ounces of marshmallows, four tablespoons of butter, three quarter cup of peanut butter, um, five cups of Rice Krispies, some cooking spray, nonstick cooking spray, and I have some rainbow sugar just because I want to, you know, dress it up a little bit. The first thing we're going to do is uh, melt our butters. We have the butters melted and you know keep on this 
Use a medium heat. If you don't want to scorch it, you can use a non-stick pan. That's fine, too. I'm going to add my marshmallows, maybe. Mini marshmallows are denser. Um, they will make it a little bit different, but are really good. And I actually like using them better, but I had these guys, and they need to be used. So, we're going to melt these down. Just keep an eye on it. Like I said, you don't want this to scorch. I'm going to have this all melted and incorporated. And next we're going to add in our Rice Krispies. And you just want to I turn the heat off at this point. Because now it's a matter of just stirring this in. Now I have my 9 by 11 pan here ready to go. I have it uh, sprayed with nonstick spray. And this stuff is like taffy. You have to work quickly. Because that marshmallow will harden up in no time. And press it down into the pan. like so. And I'm just going to sprinkle it with a little rainbow sugar just to make it kind of cute. Because why not? And you're going to let this cool and we'll cut her up and then you know what comes next. These are cooled already, so I'm going to cut them and plate them. They're cute with the sprinkles. You can use any kind you want. I just thought these were super cute. <clears throat> Mike likes the regular ones too, but I've always liked the peanut butter ones a lot better. I'm more peanut butter than marshmallow. He likes both. So this is kind of a win-win. So here they are. Mmm. And you know what comes next. The taste test. Let's see what they look like. Here we go. Mmm. So good. These are way better than the regular plain marshmallow ones. If you like peanut butter. I love peanut butter. So to me, these are total win-win. Quick, easy, no bake. <clears throat> you have to work quickly when you're melting the butters, adding your marshmallow and melting them down. The uh, mini marshmallows are nicer to work with because they melt more quickly than the big ones, but you can use either, like I did, and I had those to use in the pantry, and yeah, I'm using what I have in my hand on in the pantry. So, so these are the peanut butter Rice Krispie treats. Um, once again, if you have a chance, check the links down below where the uh, recipe is, the directions, and also for the links for Lori Fogg, um, Cole Cracker in the Kitchen. And check her out, and if you feel led and can give her a hand, I'm sure she would really appreciate it. It's snowing out. Got a nor'easter rolling in. It went from zero to now 14, 18 inches, possibly. 
It's going to be awesome. So, you know, stay inside. Bake. <laughs>